All right, I gotta work on this thing. Uh, in order to get to the inside, to have a no start condition, what you gotta do is you gotta remove the top and the sides so you can service it. What I'm gonna do to remove the top, this fan shroud is connected to this. Uh, I disconnect these two screws, this one and this one, and put them to the side. And I make sure it's unplugged, of course. You gotta make sure it's unplugged. So I pull out all these screws holding the shroud on. I pull out the top shroud. One here, one here. There's four on this side, and four on the other side. There's one there. And then I pull the cover off here. Four screws, one here, one here, one here, one here. And then once I remove everything, which I will show you, I uh, fix it, I diagnose it. Watch this one has dry rot of fuel lines because it's been sitting so long. So you put it together the same way, in the reverse process. All right. Found out the problem, which was the hose right here is dry rotted and it's leaking air and it wasn't getting a proper vacuum. Now this long one right here goes to the, the vacuum or the, the air pump. The air pump is back of the fan right here and hooks to the other side right here and it blows, blows air through there right up in here and blows out through here which this goes into the fuel line and as this is blowing out it creates a vacuum in this hose which pulls the fuel up and sprays it into the bullet or the tank whatever you want to call it so I bought brand new fuel line from my local uh, hardware store it was a tractor store, really. And I'm going to replace this old line on here. And I'm going to run it through. I'm going to run it through the bullet heater as I got it out. Now, I diagnosed this before I made this video. But uh, when I show you, when you've seen the beginning, you already seen how it's supposed to look. I uh, diagnosed this off camera and uh, well I took this out without you guys seeing but I'll show you how it's done so I'm gonna replace these lines what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace it see how long it is and then I'm gonna cut it to size and then I'm gonna run it through and show you the routing after it's done now in this particular model you gotta take these two little notches right here and make sure they go in there. Line up with those two right there. Let's zoom in. And then I'm gonna run the lines afterwards. So, as you can see, I'm gonna line it up like this. Wiggle it in. Make sure it's not hanging up on any lines. Got it in, now I'm gonna twist it lightly. Now it's in place. See, it won't come out. Now I'll hook my hoses up, trim the length. So, this one is our airline. goes on the front
onion. Get some juice in it. Slide on. Now we'll put on our fuel line. So I cut the line to fit the filter, got the grommet on here, so I'm going to lube up the grommet so it slides into the metal a little easier.
I try to be gentle with it so I don't puncture the rubber. Pry a little bit in side by side. It's a tight fit. Nice. Again, run the hose through. Try not to kink it. Like Those protectors are in place. You don't want to. You don't want to cut them through. You gotta make sure those are in. If not, the sheet metal will cut through your hose. Those of you have a fuel line leak, you don't want that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You gotta make sure those stay in place. They protect your wires in your uh, hoses so the sheet metal don't cut through I want to trim the fuel line put it on keep it relatively the same size well on the inside make it too long it'll kink and you won't get nothing through Her up so I can get her in. All nice and wet. Slide her in. All right. I will put her right in. Snap her in place and slide her in place. Put your fan back. It just sits in. Those slats that are provided. I'm going to check to make sure. The hose is in the way. Make sure you get your air hose out of the way.
Now we're going to have to adjust our fuel line because it won't clear the fan. See? See, if you turn that fan on, it's going to hit that and you'll have fuel spray all over. So we got to trim that line. Push right out of place. Pull our fuel line off. Be gentle with it because this is made out of plastic. So we'll trim it right about there. again. Now we'll put the fan back in, in the slots. The slots right here. We'll check the clearance again. Much better clearance. I don't have it plugged in. I'm not, I don't have my hands in here and it's not plugged in. So, all right. Now we're gonna hook up the airline. In the back here. I guess that's going to need juice too. So we'll juice her up. Slider on.
And I'll put the uh, covers back on and we'll check the operation and you'll see how the igniter works. Electrical cover back on. Make sure it's not binding up on anything. Put the four screws in and tighten it down. All right, so we got it back together. Here it is. It works. And uh, oh, let me show you this uh, pressure gauge, what it does. All right, a breakdown. The air gets sucked through here. This is your air cleaner. This is an air pump. That's an air gauge. The air blows to this line. Or up in here, like I explained, and here's your igniter. I'll show you how it works. Some of them have spark plugs. This one has a igniter like a grill, and I'll show you how it works. See it sparking? All right, so we put the screws back in. Now we took them out and I'll show you what this uh, pressure gauge does. This pressure gauge shows you the air pressure being pushed through that line and through the nozzle. So, see what this one pushes at, it pushes at 3 PSI. When it I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment below. Thanks.